Nick Kyrgios pulls out of Roland Garros. After six months off, we're breaking down when the Aussie's returning to the court. And it is a spicy Saturday at the Italian Open. We are previewing the men's semifinals and the women's championship match. You know what time it is, the break, it starts right now. What's up everyone, Aaron Coscarelli here. You are watching The Break and last spring, Nick Kyrgios was ranked outside of the top 100. A quarterfinal showing though at Indian Wells and a successful grass season saw him return to top form. Well, shortly after making the Wimbledon final, he went to the American hard courts where he won his seventh career title at the City Open. Continued success into the fall meant that Nick would crack the top 20. However, then in January, he underwent surgery on his meniscus, which would halt this momentum. Well, just this week, it was revealed Nick suffered yet another injury that will prevent him from returning to Roland Garros. Get this, Kyrgios' agent told the press that he cut the side of his foot during a carjacking that occurred earlier this month. According to police, a man held Nick's mother at gunpoint at his home in Canberra before stealing his Tesla. In the scramble to ensure his mother's safety and eventually aid police in getting the car back, Nick did injure his foot. Good news, it's not a serious injury, but it will delay Kyrgios' return by a few weeks. He did pull out of Roland Garros to heal, and he is planning to make his comeback during the grass season. Nick is currently on the entry list for Stuttgart, and that event begins on June 12th. Well, it is a spicy Saturday in Rome as the men's semifinal matches include some iconic tour rivals. Plus, we're going to be crowning our women's singles championship. So with that, let's get right to it. Daniil Medvedev and Stefano Tsitsipas will play for the 12th time in their career. Daniil leading head-to-head 7-4, -head but it is Steph who has won their last two meetings. This is Medvedev's first clay semifinal in over four years. And the Russian has spoken openly about hating the surface. So we will see if he can keep his run in Rome going. Well, Steph hasn't dropped a set in his four wins. He is looking to make the Italian Open final for the second straight year. Our other men's semifinal features Casper Ruud, Olga Rune. Ruud, of course, leading head to head for nothing. And the last time they played, Rune's repeated outburst clearly bothered Casper a little bit. That was at last year's Roland Garros, where we got this very icy handshake. The drama apparently spilled into the locker room where a confrontation was had between the players. Their semi-final match on Saturday will be a fun one to watch. <laughs> Following the men's semis, the women's final has Annalena Kalinina taking on Elena Rybakina. They've played just once, Kalinina winning in three sets. This is Kalinina's first thousand level final. She is taking out three seeded players on her way to the championship match. She came into Rome on a four match losing streak, but did find her form to get a chance to compete for her first career title. Rabakina is continuing her successful season. This will be Elena's third final of the season, reaching that final hurdle in Australia, winning Indian Wells and following that up with a finals appearance in Miami. We've got live coverage from the Italian Open beginning at 7 a.m. Eastern Time on Tennis Channel, which means we will be seeing you tomorrow.